Hello, welcome or welcome back to Quinn Spire Crochet. This is Ashley, and today we are doing a fun little video in my office. Yay! Yep, we are in my office today because it's a little chilly downstairs in my craft area, and I don't feel like being cold. So we are in here, and um, yeah, so today's a fun little video totally impromptu not even that much crochet related but if you remember I think last week Shannon over the spooky stitcher yep hi Shannon she did a uh like a fun unpopular opinions video and I told her wouldn't this be fun if you did this as a tag and she's like yes so I am tagged hello so here I am um I thought it'd be fun to do this video and then I sat down and realized do I even have any unpopular opinions so I had to like brainstorm. <laughs> Usually I just go with the flow. I just do what everybody else wants me to do, like what everybody else likes me to like. Um, but I do have a list of about 10-ish things that are unpopular. So I will be putting the tag for this. So Shannon created a tag. It is hashtag fun popular opinions. These are just fun things, nothing controversial, nothing like that. Um, and I, I'm just gonna share them. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna have fun. This is a fun. This is allows you to get to know me. It's a good time. All right. First, I do not like summer. I do not like to be hot. I don't like the winter either because I don't like to be cold, but I really don't like summer. Summer is awful. Um, two, is this really an unpopular opinion? But I, I don't like Twitter. I actually don't really like Instagram either. <laughs> I hate them. I don't like very many social media things. The only one I like or even use is Facebook and that's because I pretty much grew up with it. It's the only thing I know how to use. <laughs> Three, I don't like the beach. I don't like sand. I don't like how I feel when I come out when, with the ocean water salt all over my body. Ugh. Don't like the beach. Too many people, hot, summer, I like to look at it, but I don't want to go. Don't, don't, know. I don't want to go. Ugh. Here's one. Mondays are not the worst day of the work week. People, you hear it. Oh, no, it's Monday. Ugh, Monday. Blah. No, Monday is not the worst day. The worst day of the week is Tuesday. And you want to know why? Because at least on Monday, if you have a general, uh, you know, Monday through Friday job, you have energy that you got from over the weekend. You have a little bit of energy, you can get through the day, and you have that. On Tuesday, you don't have that anymore. You are tired from Monday, and the weekend is nowhere in sight. You still have to get through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before you even get your glorious weekend back. Yep, that is why Monday is not the worst day. Tuesday is the worst day of the week of the work week. Next, I dislike sunny days. I do not like sunny days. You could say I'm just a depressing mess, but no, I just like the rain. I am a pluviophile and I like overcast rainy days. Do I like to be out in the rain? No, because then I get wet and cold and that's uncomfortable. Do I like to drive in the rain? No, I don't like driving in the rain. I don't like any of that. I just like to the sound the smell, looking at it, <laughs> but I don't like sun or sunny days. And this kind of goes back to not liking summer, not liking the beach, those kinds of things. Next, I don't like Christmas. Uh, I actually don't like family holidays all that much. Uh, so this time of year is like, ugh, because it's stressful. I like to think of Christmas as Stress with Christmas lights and glitter. It's what it is. It's just stress. It's just stress covered in glitter. <laughs> That's all it is. So I don't like it. Um, and Thanksgiving also I don't like uh, because the food is all mid to me, which basically I mean like none of the food excites me when it comes to Thanksgiving. It's all food that... Mm, no. And forced familial conversations and no no that's not that's a no for me um no also um fun fact I had uh, when I was a kid my stepfather decided to get experimental with Thanksgiving dinner and I'm still traumatized to this day 
there was way too much fruit in my stuffing. And he boiled kumquats. <laughs> yep, that was not the best. Not, not a good time. Not a good time. Next, Starbucks is overrated. I actually much prefer the coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, to be honest with you. But Starbucks is overpriced and overrated. I don't know if that's exactly an unpopular opinion, but a lot of people like it. And, nah, you know, I, yeah, sometimes I like it if I'm thinking about that pumpkin spice latte, but it's no longer pumpkin spice latte season or pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin spice season. Yes, because I'm a basic person that likes the pumpkin spice latte. And uh, unfortunately, I do not enjoy the other coffees. I just find that Starbucks coffee is made a little too strong. So, yeah, I like the taste of burnt popcorn. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do. I have no explanation. In stories and movies, I usually prefer the villain over the hero. And that is because I find that the villain's story is a lot more interesting. I like to learn how a villain got the way they were. I like those villain origin stories and stuff like that. I need to like read and watch more movies though, which is another one. I don't like movies that much um and it's not because I don't like watching them I do like watching them it's just that for some reason my attention span just doesn't let me so I can't continue with it um very long and I'll fall asleep yep that's pretty much it also I prefer shows over movies because sometimes uh well generally an episode is an hour long as opposed to the hour and a half to you know, two hours of a movie, and I can stop, I can take breaks with shows, and yeah, just enjoy it that way. Plus, I like it when the storyline is milked and I get every little detail. Sometimes I find that movies just don't have the details I desire. Going back to coffee and Starbucks, I will drink iced coffee all year round. It is, even if it is below zero, I will be drinking iced coffee if I go out to get coffee. If I'm home, I will make hot coffee, but if I'm going out to get a coffee, it's always going to be iced. I cannot have a hot coffee purchased at um like Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks and mostly this is because it's always way too hot and I do not like going through the next two days with a scalded burnt tongue feeling if you know what I mean no thank you and um the last well one of the last ones I have here is I usually prefer so when traveling I hate traveling but <laughs> when I do travel which actually I guess I hate traveling is an unpopular opinion uh I do want to see things eventually but it's just ugh, too stressful but typically if I am traveling I typically prefer the journey over the destination the thought of the destination gives me a lot of anxiety, but just chilling while I'm going, I like that. Except for flying. No, I won't. I don't know. But if I'm in a car, that, that that's what I mean. Not a plane. Planes are anxiety inducing. What you've learned from me in this whole thing is I have a lot of anxiety issues. <laughs> oh, goodness. But I'm going to end with a little bonus crochet unpopular opinion for you. And that is, I do not like chenille yarn. Not really. Especially Bernat Blanket. I find that Bernat Blanket makes my... Ugh, I don't like the feeling of Bernat Blanket yarn. Nope. And um, I do like the feeling of like Chunky Parfait or the Sweet Suggles, the light, light, whatever it's called. But it is all over the place. It is not that fun to work with. And, you know, I just prefer the aesthetic of a regular yarn. Unfortunately, the basic public who likes to buy products like this prefer that parfait. And I'm going to stand strong. So if I do make things to sell at a market one day, it will not be in Chanel yarn. It will be in regular yarn. You heard me. You know, we'll flash forward in a few years and I'll be selling everything in parfait chunky just like everybody else because that's what makes money. Blah, 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 blah.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this fun little video for me today. These are just my fun popular opinions. This is now a tag, but I don't really have any friends. So if, <laughs> of course, I mean, you guys are all here. So, but I'm just not good at reaching out to people. So if you guys watch and you like me and want to participate, please use the tag. It's right down below. Fun, popular opinions. Uh, you will see it in my title here. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. I um, hope you don't mind that we're back in this room. Oh, look, there's a kitty. Here's me butters. Say hi to me butters. Hi, me butters. Well, this is a chaotic mess. <laughs> I need to go. If you like the video, like the video. If you like me, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell. And now I'm leaving. Bye!